Hello, children. I'm back with a new poetry that is how to tell wild animals. It's nothing but the identification of wild animals. So I think you people are very grown up and mature enough to understand which is a wild animal and which is a domestic animal, right? So domestic animals are very true and friendly. And uh, whereas the wild animals, they make food of us, isn't it? So we should be very careful. So today I'm here to discuss with you people regarding the poem, about the poem, how to tell wild animals. So the animals here have been represented and it has been taken up in a humorous manner. And the poet is she's just streaming out and trying to give her information that though we will be taking out little humorous about the animals, but it seems very dangerous. So let's go through the poem and see uh, what kind of dangerous message they give us. So before that, let me introduce our poetess of today's poem. So that is Kathleen Wells. So she is an American prolific writer and she's meant for children's stories. She is Carolyn Wells. So as I already showed you, it is a humorous poem. The poet, she suggests some dangerous way of identifying the wild animals and suggested ways create humor. She says, if you ever visit the jungles in the East and you were happen to encounter a lion, tiger, or a leopard, you will be able to identify them by the way they attack you. Identifying while dying the idea makes you laugh. Yes. Till by then you identify them, you will be dead. So let's see. There are different types of wild animals have been portrayed by our poet yesterday. So let's check out how she has been uh, uh, explained and expressed her way of wild animals in the poem. So the first stanza, it goes like this. If I were you, if I were you should go by chance to jungle in the east. So if I were you, that I may get a chance to go up to the jungle in the east direction. And if they should to you advance a large and tiny beast, if he roars, at you as you are dying, you will know it is the Asian lion. So what she says is here, as though if you, I was in your place, I would have visited the jungle in the east direction. And if there should to you and the ones and the large and the twiny beast. So, so what is the twiny here? It's nothing but it represents the color of the Lion's skin, yellowish brown color. So that's the meaning of the word twenty. It's a twenty beast. Yes, of course, it's a beast and it's very dangerous. And then if he roars at you as you are dying, you will know it is the ancient lion. If it comes up to you and it keeps out its paws on your chest, just remember how happy you feel in a sense she's trying to make us to understand that you will be in a death mode then you will then identify it as an ancient lion it seems how true it is if it comes near us itself our bp our sugar levels our everything the temperature just goes up and we just lean on and we'll be near to the death after eating, who will be identifying it as an ancient lion? It doesn't bother, right? So this is up to the first stanza. And I'll be moving on to the second one. Or if, and sometimes, when roaming around, roaming around, a noble wild beast greets you with black stripes on a yellow ground, just notice if he eats you. This simple rule may help you learn the Bengal tiger to discern. Yes, the second stanza, they say that, and she says that, and she also explains that the 
roars of the animal in the jungle and belongs to the royal clan so who belongs to the royal clan here that is the tiger i think you can see in the picture here so and then she also tries to say that the color of its skin is very yellowish with black stripes she says that if you notice that he skills and kills you up then this mean that you have surely seen a bengal tiger yes then an animal who just will be roaming around you and who will be greeting you and later on if it greets to you then it is understood that you will be into the death that's all then later this time also she has used a kind of a dark humor to explain how the tiger looks that is the completely physical stature because once a person has been eaten up by a wild animal there is no use in determining which wild animal it is after eating it doesn't bother at all isn't it so that is the reason she is just trying to help us to no the identification of the tiger but what tiger it is it is the bengal tiger that we have to understand so hope you are understanding the poem now so let me go back to the next stanza that is if a strolling trot a beast you view whose hide with spots is peppered as soon as he has leapt on you you will know it is the leopard will do no good to roar with pain he will only lap 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 and lap again yes so this is an introductory of an another wild animal that is cheetah that is a leopard sorry that's a leopard where the poet is she tries to say that very casually who will be walking around the jungle and uh, you will be meeting an animal who has a skin with the spots the pepper it's nothing but the spots black spots on its body this animal is so fast enough that it will leap on you at once and when it leaps around then our story will be closed completely which means that it will jump on you just imagine yourself children when the leopard comes off and it jumps on to you i think your heart will be in your hand right so that would be the position of a human being so we never chance to leap on us then so which means that will be jumping on who and this jumping is an indication that it is none other than the leopard so the jump itself it's just comes out and identifies it's very easy to identify that it's a leopard and moreover the poet is adds that if you will cry out in pain it is not going to be any of use because it will keep on jumping on you unless you are dead in this stanza she tries to explain the characteristics of a leopard as of it has a spots like a pepper on its body and who jumps off so that will be identified as a leper hope you all understood i'll be moving on to the next paragraph if you were walking around your yard you meet a creature there who hugs you very, very hard be sure it is a bear if you have any doubts i guess he will give you just one more caress yes another one fellow we will be get introduced when you are walking around a jungle a yard a particular place you will meet another creature who is that that is a bear who hugs you it's a friendly animal it's just comes and hugs you and it's just licks you up like our pomeranian dog no no he is very dangerous that is our bear and when you are walk uh in the lawn area and you will meet a creature and who hugs you very tightly it is a bear and she further adds that is a poet is she tries to add up that you for if you are still in a doubt the regarding the animal the easiest way to identify the animal that it will be 
keep on hugging you tighter and tighter and touches you very gently so then you can understand it would be the bear this act will make you sure about its identification and you'll come to know it is a bear how funny it will be isn't it children so in your dream a leopard might come a tiger the bear and even the lion choices your children just enjoy the company of an wild animal right no so let's see and she has a very strong message in the poem at the last so let's check out let's go with the other paragraph now that is the fifth one do to extinguish beast of prey a novice might non plus the crocodile you always me tell from the hyena thus hyenas come with merry smiles but if they weep they are crocodiles so here is another two animals who will be having a distinguishing between themselves as of she tries to say that someone who is very new to the job of recognizing the animals it will be like a something very puzzle enough why because we have two animals to be recognized so what are they uh, that animal which hunt another animal for their food so they hunt other animal for the food so here the poet tries to the poetess tries to tell that to help you out for the reader by telling the difference between the two animals she says that hyenas will come with a happy smiles merry it's nothing but a happy smiles where if it is a crocodile it always into the tears when it weeps up it will be a crocodile so the happiness refers for hyenas and the weepings refers to crocodiles and it is very very dangerous animals and in the sixth stanza we are going to study about the true camelons in small a lizard sort of thing he hasn't any ears at all and not a single wing if there is nothing on the tree is the camelon yes i think you people are very aware of the camelons here so the camelons doesn't have uh, the ears yes yes they don't have any ears and they is like a bird and they do not have wings to fly off but they do fly how with the help of their tail yes let me go with the poetess now and she says that the camelon which is very a small small creature and it looks like a lizard but the difference between the two is the camelon doesn't have a ears and the wings yes moreover she says that the camelon has the ability to change its color according to the surface on which it is sitting yes i saw it changes the co color according to the surface but we have given some more the other notation that according to the situation and the climatic condition it changes no according to the surface it changes its color if you see a tree and find something that is nothing on it then it is must be a camelon sitting on it it has changed the color into the color of the tree yes many times very often it changes its color according to the surface area so in the last paragraph here is an introduction about an animal or a creature that is camelon so the first para refers to lion then comes of our tiger that is bengal tiger next comes of the leopard the bear and the hyenas crocodiles and at last the camelon so what is the basic theme of this poem is though it's very funny to read out and imagine ourselves that it would come to us bounce on us and leap on us and eat us it's very easy to say children but when it goes when the question appears of the reality when it comes up in the real sense it's very horrible and many of them have lost their lives in the attack of the wild animals so how much we care about them they doesn't disturb us if we do so we will be the food for them 
so it's very dangerous for the contact of wild animals so be careful while going in a highways and visiting the zoos and the uh, wild sanctuaries so be careful so don't play with them don't just provoke them just be nice to them so this is up to your poem how to tell the wild animals yes we have i'm sure that you people are now uh, very easily can identify the wild animals so please do revise the poems and i'll be back with a new video so till by then happy learning